Hey everybody, Soapbox Bill here again with another day, another review for db -Sember. And we have another Batman movie, and another Robin, and another origin story. Huh. I swear we'll get into more variety next time. Uh, this is Batman Under the Red Hood. Red Hood's uh, that guy right there. And uh, time for a, lore, a bit of a lore drop. For those not in the know, the original Red Hood, way back in the day, was the Joker before he fell into the vat of chemicals that eventually made him the Joker during a confrontation with Batman. You know, the classic hero tropes, you create your own worst enemies. And uh, that event led to him becoming the crazed, psychotic clown we all know and love. Except it's not Mark Hamill in this movie, so not as much. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, many years have passed, and the Joker is now locked up in Arkham, but the uh, mobster boss Black Mask has taken over the criminal underworld in Gotham. Black Mask is called Black Mask because his head looks like a black mask. Very unimaginative name, but then again, one of my favorite heroes is named Spider-Man because he was bit by a spider and does whatever a spider can. We'll talk about superhero naming conventions some other time. Uh, on a side note, why are the police using blimps? Like, I know that was part of the original aesthetic in the original animated series back in the 90s, a callback to that kind of film noir era of Batman. But uh, think about it. When was the last time you saw a blimp that didn't have Goodyear on it? For me, that was... Last time I saw a Goodyear blimp was years ago, and I have not seen a blimp since. Huh. Moving on. Uh, there's a new player on the field, a new person calling himself the Red Hood, who is challenging Black Mask to take over the city. One part here, one part vigilante, one part crime boss. But Batman, being Batman, has to stop both of these two crime lords. However, it's never that easy. Hood is far more talented and skilled than some average street thug, able to evade the bat and even anticipate his movements. This crime lord slash vigilante is not to be underestimated. But with Batman plagued by the loss of Jason Todd, the second Robin, not the first, Dick Grayson does show up in this movie, though. Uh, will he be able to raise up, rise up and defeat this new player? What kind of chaos will the Joker bring to the party? The Hood, the Bat, the Joker, the Black Mask. All set for what seems to be a free for all Who will emerge victorious? Uh, those that already know the story of Batman already know the identity of the Red Hood, and he... Well... The world's greatest detective figures that out about the halfway mark uh, in the movie, and the rest of it is him dealing with the fallout of that, the emotional roller coaster that eventually leads to the finale, the final confrontation. The tension and the back and forth between those two is well choreographed and beautifully animated. So, final thoughts time. Under the Red Hood is a very gritty Batman story full of mystery, drama, and action. Even knowing the main mystery of who the re this mysterious Red Hood is, uh, it didn't really uh, ruin the movie, even for me, and I I do know who's behind that mask. Uh, so, uh, though the final fight was great to watch, the ending still had one answer that went unheeded. That did not be answered. A mystery that perhaps this didn't end exactly as we thought, that perhaps... The Red Hood will cross paths with the Bat once again in the future. There's also some continuity issues, but uh, mainly that's kind of because I watched uh, Son of Batman before this. Uh, though technically this takes place before Son of Batman. So... Because, you know, Raish is still alive in the beginning of this. We have no sign of Damien. So, uh, yeah, that's what I get for watching movies out of order. But I will not stop watching them out of order now. I won't. You hear me? I won't. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm a dork. But, uh, next time, uh, 
we're gonna go for a DC anime movie that's uh, might have a little less Batman and uh, sp explore some of the other characters of this brilliant universe. So, then again, it is Batman and, uh, <laughs> well, he's Batman. Well, I'll wrap it up for now. See you guys next time on DB Sember.